Welcome back, everybody. Do you like vodka cocktails? I think that you do. Based on the number of views I had on the last vodka cocktail video I made, I think a lot of you like vodka cocktails. So, today, we're gonna look at not one, not two, but three more vodka cocktails from the Violet Hour, including this one right here. Let's check it out. Let's take a look at Toby Maloney's most popular vodka drink at the Violet Hour, the Vodka Cobbler. This isn't a true cobbler, it's really more of like a fortified cobbler, but it's delicious nonetheless. Okay, for the Vodka Cobbler, we are going to need some fresh berries, simple syrup, lemon juice, coke americano, and vodka. Okay. First, we are going to add these berries to the bottom of our tin. Next, we'll add three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. I'm gonna add just a little bit more of simple syrup because this is December when I'm making this video. So these berries are gonna be a little bit more tart. Next, we'll add three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, followed by three quarters of an ounce of Koki Americano. And finally, one and a half ounces of vodka. Before we shake this, we're gonna muddle the berries. Just go ahead and give the berries a light press. Then we're gonna add three cubes to our shaking tin. And give us a shake for 10, 15 seconds. And for this one, we're gonna double strain into our chilled coop. And it's super, super important that you double strain this drink because of the seeds that are in the berries. And to garnish, go ahead and put three of your best looking berries onto a skewer and place over top. Okay, let's take a look at the part and parcel. It's a vodka cocktail invented by bartender Troy Seidel. He invented this cocktail at the Violet Hour because it was easier to make than the vodka cobbler in the sense that the seeds from the berries didn't get caught in the strainer. So he made this drink to make it easier for the bartenders to make and then also to hopefully discourage people from ordering the vodka cobbler and therefore not having to make this mess of a drink. So, for the part and parcel, we are going to need grapefruit bitters, simple syrup, lime juice, grapefruit juice, elderflower liqueur. If you can, try and find St. Germain. My liquor store didn't have it. Uh, the stuff's still good, but St. Germain's kind of the standard. And finally, vodka. So to start, we're gonna add five to 10 drops of grapefruit bitters, depending on if you keep it in the manufacturer's bottle or if you have it in your own uh, bitters bottle. So with this, I'm gonna add five. Next, we'll add a half ounce of simple syrup. Then we will add three quarters of an ounce of grapefruit juice. Followed by one quarter ounce of lime juice. Then we'll add three quarters of an ounce of elderflower liqueur. And finally, we'll add two ounces of vodka. Now, we'll add three ice cubes to our shaker. Give it a shake for 10 to 15 seconds. And for this drink, we are going to double strain into a chilled coop. All right, and 
finally, this is the ring that I've been waiting for. It is the London Frog. It's a take on the London Fog, which is a Earl Grey tea based latte. This drink was invented by Lisa Claire Green, and she used to be a barista and wanted to have her own take on the London Fog. Let's check it out. So to make the Earl Grey syrup, we're first going to make Earl Grey tea. And to do this, I have two Earl Grey tea bags in here, and I have some water going in the kettle. I set the kettle to 200 degrees. Earl Grey steeps best between 190 and 208 degrees. So we're just gonna add one cup of water to the tea bags. All right, now we're gonna let this steep for about five minutes. You don't wanna let it steep too much longer than that, otherwise you're gonna start to get some of the bitter tannins come out in the tea. So let's check back in five minutes. Okay, so now it's been five minutes, so we're going to add one cup of sugar to the tea. Now right, once your sugar's added, we're gonna go ahead and seal up the jar and we're going to shake this until the sugar dissolves. All right, once we have everything mixed, we're going to go ahead and put it in the fridge to cool down. So for the London Frog, we are going to need egg white, lemon juice, our Earl Grey syrup that we made earlier, Italicus bergamot liqueur, Amaro Montenegro, and of course, vodka. So for this drink, we're gonna start with our egg white. Go ahead and put that in your tin. Then we're gonna add three quarter ounce of our Earl Grey syrup, followed by three quarter ounce lemon juice. Next, we'll do a half ounce of our bergamot liqueur. A half ounce of Amaro Montenegro and one ounce of vodka. So because we put the egg white in here we need to go ahead and give this a dry shake or Toby Maloney calls it a mime shake just to emulsify all the ingredients before we add ice. Now we're going to add three cubes to the tin. Give it another shake for 10 to 15 seconds. And for this one, we're going to double strain into a Nick and Nora. Let's give these a try. As you can see, I kind of already started with the London Frog, uh, but for video's sake, I'll give it a sip. Yeah, this one's easily my favorite of the three. Tastes like a London Frog. I love bergamot, I love Earl Grey. I like egg white on top of my drinks. It's delicious, give it a try. Now let's try the parts and parcel. Also next on the drink, kind of reminds me of a gimlet, but more grapefruity. Obviously we put grapefruit juice in here and had the grapefruit bitters. Automatically with the elderflower liqueur, it gives it a, a floraliness to it. Now the recipe in Bartender's Manifesto calls for Bitterman's hopped grapefruit bitters. I couldn't find that at any liquor store and Amazon failed to get here in time for the video. So I think this drink would be better with the bitters that are actually called for in the recipe book and would probably add more floral notes to it. All right, finally, let's try Toby Maloney's Berry Cobbler. Oh, that's really, really good. I'm glad I went a little heavier on the simple syrup because these berries are a little bit more tart. Uh, and then also adding the lemon juice in there, uh, the simple syrup really helps balance it out. This one's really good and would honestly probably be better in the spring or the summertime when berries are actually in season. But 
There you go, folks. Three more vodka cocktails from the Violet Hour. Give these a try. Let me know which ones you like the best down in the comments below. If you like these videos, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.